about 7.30 in the morning. The streets are being swept. It's quiet on the Western Front. We're going to our bikes now to start today's episode. First, we have to find coffee. The bikes are still here. found a coffee shop over there. It looks interesting. So let's go and have a look. Coffee, beer, hot glass blowing. For mix. That's a cool looking place. It's like a little garage thing. Cup of dirt. Give us a review. People are waiting. What? It's already good. Oh my god, Deadwood, you've come good. What's the word? Amaratic. It's got a nice flavour to it, taste. Right. Full of um, Amaratic spices and things. Must be a special blend. It's a special blend, yeah. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful coffee. Well, that's a funny that beautiful is. coffee. That's a five. Yee, another five. That is a five. Is that better than the Australian one in Rapid City? Yeah. Yeah, it's, is that the best so far? That's the best so far. The best so far. Deadwood, you win the prize. Uh, and get a go, it's called Mind Blown. It Hot is. Glass Studio. And his mind has been blown. Oh, yeah. it's going to be a fabulous day today. I, I, I reckon I'll see Bison today now because of that five-star coffee review. But Bison will happen. But where are we going today? Today's adventure basically takes us back to Rapid City, back to Paula and Bobby's place. But before we get there, we're going to do the some mountain near where there's supposedly heard a small herd of bison that's just outside of Rapid City, uh, outside of Sturges. Then we might go to Keystone, that's that village we went through the other day that we thought looked really interesting, and then back home to uh, Rapid City. They predict 50% rain today, and it's nice and cloudy and cool, so it's a good day. <laughs> entrance to the park we're going to ask someone we're at the full throttle saloon where it's near anyway I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about today's brought to you by the letter C C can stand for a lot of things as you know but let's say it's uh, crazy creative caring people and they are Annie Campbell Chris Katz Kerry Christopher Peter Clark, Tom Coates, Jackie Coleman, Craig Cooper, Kat Corbett, Brett Kozani, Leanne Crane, all the way from New Zealand. Thanks guys. Today's episode is brought to you by those people and the letter C. Looking back on the years gone by like so many summer fruits. 65, I was 17. Run up the 101 I don't know where I'm going and now Where I'm running on Running on Running on empty Running on Running on blind Running on Running into the sun I'm running behind Gotta do what you can Just to keep your love alive 
got a prickly pear margarita and you got a the blue moon we've been up in uh, Calgary, Banff, really? Yellowstone Damien's chatting uh, we've been yeah. all around uh, chatting, chatting so here at the um, Red Garter they don't serve outside on the balcony even though all these tables are reserved for Red Garter customers you can only get drink service and then they gave us a menu that was a dinner menu, not a lunch menu. So after we made a decision, we had to go back. Unless you can't have that, that's a dinner menu. So that burger looks pretty lean. So we'll come back. I got potato skins. Oh, they look all right. Have one of those. And a cup of soup, potato soup. What's the verdict on the burger? Out, let, let's do a burger score, seeing we're gonna be eating just nothing but burgers while in America. Out of the five star system, which we have adopted for the coffee, what do you give, give that? That doesn't look very thick like normal. Two That's a, a two, two and a half star burger. I've got to say the soup's nice. I haven't had a potato. Anyway, we're not going to score the other shit. We're just going to score burgers. The Blue Moon, he loves that. Don't you? Good job. Belgian white. And I'm loving my pear margarita. It's just out of a tap, so it's not very strong. So the, for the people that really are enjoying the costings, all of this came to 32 US dollars. 45 dollars? About 45 Australian for one burger, four potato skins and a small cup of soup. I'm joining yesterday and today up because there wasn't much footage from yesterday that I took in the end and I just feel it wasn't enough of an episode. So today is Friday and today is I think the official start of Sturges. So we're here at Rapid City at our Australian coffee shop. So I don't know that there's any need to do a review because we know what it's going to be like. But today is brought to you by the letter D. D for delightful people. There you go. And they are Angela Dean and Eric Dean, Sandra Degui, John Degui, Heather Dykeman, David Digby, Jax Digby, and Rusty Dobson. Thanks, guys. And we have actually two new tank toppers that have come on board in the last couple of days, and that is. Um, Terry Elliott from Santa Cruz, USA. Thank you, Terry. You've been very, very generous. Um, appreciate that indeed. And Peter Powell from New South Wales. Uh Today, uh, after we get the coffee, we're going into Sturgis to the Indian corporate tent to meet up with um, some of the people there that I've been talking to regarding tomorrow's appearance and stuff like that and have some lunch. Otherwise, Generally, we'll come back to Rapid City. We're going to clean the bikes because tomorrow is the start of the weekend and where it gets really busy for me. So I've got trouble with these bike events, aren't like they're noisy? But let's get on with today, shall we? And I've joined up. So thanks again to everybody for your support. I'm going to drag off this Harley Davidson.
our official tank topper for today. <laughs> TC, but what is, what's your sort of real name? Or is it... it, it Tim. Tim, yeah. it is Tim. Yeah, I wasn't Tim, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, so Tim. And Tim's met us at the Indian corporate tent area. Yep. And what goes on here? Do you, do you we're, we're going to have a look at your bike because that's on display. Yes, that's yep. a bit special. Yep, we got Forever Rad's bikes, three of his bikes Forever on display, Rad's, including, yep. including one of mine, yep. and uh, everything else is the Indian. But we've okay. got Kerry Hart's stuff here, and come check it out. Yes, Maddie. Hi. Ah, hello. Great to meet you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're in the Indian Jack Daniels tent and you can order these barrels and get your name engraved on them and they ship them to you. So tomorrow morning, Calamity Jane's gonna take home a gold for Australia. Damien's still chatting. Have a chat, have a chat, have a chat. Hello young lady. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Good? I'm good. I'm all primed and ready for tomorrow. How are you? So they're all lining up for a flannelette shirt that's only made here or something that once they run out they don't make them. So they're all lining up for a flannelette shirt. They need to go to Lowe's. Lowe's menswear in Australia got loads of flannies. Damien's chatting. They're offering free tattoos. I think you should get a tattoo with um, Christine on, written on across your arm. Thank you. Don't you reckon Damien should do that to show his commitment? Damien's chatting. Look, he's chatting again. my take on Sturges I mean this is the opening day and it's it probably might get busier but it's not going to look any different the people all look the same the bikes all start to look the same after a while come I'm not being looking for come just to have a chat so I think this might be the last video I do of Sturges as such because I don't think it's going to look any different between now and to when we go it's same same so we're now going to try and find some lunch and meet up with Steve and Martin for lunch. Get a big one up. A, a guy down there wanted just, just 30 minutes of my time to talk about gold. <laughs> I got 30 minutes, mate. <laughs> Where is whiskey? Is in, can you? What do you reckon oh. about that, Martin? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've never seen anything so revolting in my whole life. I bet. You just, you just can't wait that out of your memory. <laughs> You can't unsee that. So they've come in because it's raining and the paint's going to all drip off their boot. Damien's having a hamburger for a change. What's that like? Three. Out of three. Steve and myself were having nachos. Oh, a double one. Good? Nachos are a bit ordinary. Thunder and lightning and rain. I got low fuel as well. Everywhere I go, people need some reason to leave. I don't know about anyone but me. If it takes all night. 